Hi all, in this video, let's learn about what is feature flag, what is the purpose of the feature flag and how to implement the feature flag in the React.js application. Firstly, feature flag. So feature flag is a powerful mechanism which helps the developers to enable and the disable the features in the prod environment directly on fly. We can do that. Okay. Like uh, with the feature flags, we can disable and enable the any of the features on fly. We no need to do any of the code changes and any of the deployments. So that is the helpful uh, with the help of this feature flags, we can do that. So ideally, we need to decouple the coding and deployment things, okay, with the features, releasing features and business activities. We need to decouple them. So that decoupling we can do with the help of the feature flags. The major helpful thing with this feature flag is one day the business people comes with us, and they say that they need this functionality, this feature. Okay, we'll develop that. So in the production environment, if they see any issues, they immediately say that they wanted, they don't want this feature. What we need to do, it, it doesn't seem to be that easy to switch off that feature, right? Again, we need to go back, go back, we need to code it and again, come back and deploy it. And again, then it will reflect in the production environment. That is a general process, okay? But uh, the, it, it doesn't seem to be good like a, a functionality or a feature is there in the production, which is not working due to X reasons, right? So to make sure all the major functionalities in our application should have this feature flags so that business people can turn it on or turn it off. So they can turn it off whenever they don't want this feature because of some uh, uh, API down issues or a functionality is not completed or they see a major issues, they wanted to turn it off, we can easily turn it. Okay, we can easily turn it off. If they want some features to be like uh, enabled, so they wanted to do some A-B testing. So uh, this design of UX is good or this design of UX is good. Like that, if they want to do also with the help of this feature flags, it would be a single click. We can easily do that. So let me show you that. So this feature flag implementation, we can use any tool, any of the cloud tools, any of the tools. But for this video, I'm using Flagsmith. You can use any tool. So just we need to create an account in the Flagsmith and create a project. So once you create a project here, you'll be getting two options, development and the production. So I'm in the production and I'm there in the left side, like features. So I have created two features. Okay, if you want more, you can create any, any number of features. So the feature naming convention should be something like this, small case and underscore. Okay, and uh, by default, you can give any of the values like whether it is true by default or flat false uh, and you can uh, you create new features here. So for now, I have created two feature flags. One is Apple Pay enable the option of Apple Pay route, the payment options, Apple Pay route or Google Pay route. There are two features, two buttons features. Okay, so if businesses, they don't want Google Pay because they see some failures in the API failures if they don't want to do. So we don't need to go back code and deploy the things. We can just flip the flag. So just if I disable this, this option of Google Pay will not be available to the end users. So let's see how we can implement that. Firstly, we need to install this Flagsmith as a dependency in our code base. Okay, I've selected React here. So depending upon what environment, if you want to do that in the Java, JavaScript or uh, uh, Next.js, so that you can select here. So we are doing that in the React. So we need to install the Flagsmith as a dependency and next in the main app root. So we need to provide this Flagsmith provider. We need to import these two and later on we need to make sure we are wrapping entire our application. So here our application will be there. On top of our application, we are going to wrap this Flagsmith provider. So environment ID will be given when you create this project. Okay, my obviously it will be given. Okay, and how to use that? We can, we need to import them like this with these hooks, we can use it. Okay, and with these hooks, you can mention an array. So what are the feature flags? In our case, we have two feature flags like an uh, Apple Pay or a Google Pay. These are the feature flags. And then we'll be getting these flags and we can use this in the code base. And we need to understand this is not exactly equal to the conditional rendering what we are using, okay? The concept might be conditional rendering, but we are using through the feature flags. So let me show you with an example. So for example, here you can see Apple Pay and Google Pay, two options the users could be able to see, but let me show how to code it, okay? So 
you have imported these two right as shown in the code and uh, we need to include what are the features we have here like what are the feature flags we have we need to include them and as a part of the flag flag dot we need to give that and enable disable these are the values you'll be getting we are taking that in a variable and we are implementing that with the button so this this conditional rendering this is a feature flag which tells us whether this button should be enabled or disabled okay and this is a feature flag which tells us the google pay should be enabled or disabled so if the uh, business team says that oh no i don't need this google pay option so what we can do so we no need to change something here and there so just go here so i'm disabling the google pay option business told that there are some issues with the google pay option we'll go we'll roll back the google pay feature okay i removed it so now i disabled this google pay option so let's go back to the code so this is a production think that this application is in the production okay we, we are not doing any code changes we are done with the code changes we have just flipped this okay if i refresh see google pay option is gone so that easy just you need to make sure you are using this feature flags so this is a hook and you are taking this data so whatever the data you have in this flagsmith you are taking that data in the hook and you are making making sure that you are rendering this button with a conditionally like feature flag based button okay if this is true apple pay would be enabled if not it would be disabled right so now again after all the api issues or other issues were resolved and if business thinks that they again need this google pay option so let's go back and i'm enabling this google pay yep confirm that's it i'm going back to the application again i'm not doing any code changes at the left side just have refreshed the production environment we, we got the google pay option this much helpful for us the feature flag it helps us a lot in multiple uh, areas okay this is the one way of using it more or less all other uh, platforms also does the same they will uh, provide these hooks for us in case using uh, in our code base this is one way so let me show you the other way so in in this case what happened is like we have wrapped our application with the uh, flagsmith provider and we have used a couple of uh, flagsmiths and we need to install the flagsmith dependency so there are a couple of steps we have followed here so let me show you the next step like a easiest way so here i will be enabling this so you'll be getting two options like this here so here what happens is you will call the api so you not do any of the like a uh, hooks like uh, this code basis so you'll not use whatever you are using here so like uh, using the hook getting it enabled disabled like this okay we'll not go go through this uh, use use a uh, flagsmith hooks okay we'll directly call this api okay if you see this api if you call this api it will give you what is the feature flag name and what is the default value all this info will, will be getting so let me go back here so this is another way so this is a fetch call if you do this okay and uh, it will return back the response data so based upon that you can enable and disable this feature that easy okay this is uh, it's up to you like uh, which whichever the option you wanted to use you can use if you are okay with the hooks yes you can go with the use flags and you can just take this values of flags and you can write this conditional rendering the same the conditional rendering won't change but the way we access this feature flags may be changing we can call this a configuration file directly in this configuration file you can see these feature flags enabled or disabled okay just you flip there it will be modifying here as well so let me show you that response as well so the response may be bit uh, vary you need to adjust it accordingly so let me show you the response yep this would be how it looks okay the name of the feature is is apple enabled so enabled true and uh, the feature flag name is is google pay enabled true so like this with the help of these you can switch like uh, you can make this code with only with the api call okay it's up to you we we, we have two options or uh, many more but uh I feel like first option would be more flexible for the beginners, but second option would be more like a pro. Pros can use the second option most of the cases. So this is all about the feature flag. With the help of this feature flag, you can decouple the coding and deployment things with the business functionality and features. Hope it helps a lot, uh, and uh, it's very useful as 
in the production environments. Okay, hope you understand the video. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe for more videos. Thank you.